Hello, my name is Natalia Marx. This is my husband, Antonio Marx. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at 54 years old, and we are here to tell our story. Tony came to America in 1976. Some of the stories that I heard about Tony before coming to America, he was in the Navy. He would like to play guitar. Around 28, 27, Tony started his own company. It was called uh, Antonio Marx Boat Builder. My husband would bring the kids to movies, to the mall. He was very good with the kids. And he loved running. He did a lot of uh, races, uh, including the half marathon New Bedford. We enjoyed going on vacation. We did a few cruises and we liked to go to Portugal almost every year. In 1994, Tony decided to build our home. We bought the land and we built the house with friends' help and my help, even the kids' help. Tony enjoyed being with friends and going to parties and have people over. I started to see a difference in Tony when he came home from work and sometimes he would be a little bit late and he would say that I was lost. That's when I started, you know, wondering and asking why is he doing this, like getting lost and not knowing where he was going. I made an appointment to his uh, primary doctor and he took some MRIs to his brain and he said that it was something that he couldn't figure it out, so he made an appointment to see Dr. Greenberg at Mass General in Boston. That's when he uh, diagnosed him with uh, dementia. Tony stopped work 57 around there because people started to know. When I was calling him, he couldn't say where I was calling him from. And if I asked him to go get something, he wouldn't know where to go. If I asked him to go to the garage, he would go to the bathroom or vice versa. At first he would say, I, I'm confused, I don't know where I am. And then it started to get worse. My life changed a lot. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States and is the only disease that cannot be cured or even slowed. Two-thirds of those with this disease are women. One out of three seniors pass away from this disease. In Massachusetts in 2015, 120,000 were living with this disease. That number is expected to grow to 150,000 by 2025. 12% of those are seniors. Alzheimer's takes a devastating toll on caregivers. Nearly 60% of Alzheimer's and dementia caregivers rate the emotional stress of caregiving as high or very high. About 40% suffer from depression. Most people living with Alzheimer's are not aware of their diagnosis or the symptoms. Whether you need information about early stage, middle stage, or late stage caregiving, our team and the Alzheimer's Association is here to help.